Hey guys, welcome to Redstone Science. Uh, in this episode, we'll be discussing the storage silo. So what I have over here is a very basic breakdown of the, the concept. Uh, what you have is a storage chest, or a regular chest, I guess. A chest, what you have is a chest flowing in through a hopper into another chest. That way, all your chests fill up, fill up from the bottom. And as the chests fill up, uh, as soon as items come into it, a uh, comparator will get a signal from it and turn on a lamp. Now you could also take the comparator signal out of the hopper, but that would mean that the lamp turns on only when the chest is full. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, you can compact the hopper chest system like this. Uh, you can uh, expand it to a double chest in uh, many different ways but this is the basic concept over here is an alternate design uh, this has its flaws as items in a higher chest will stay there even if you start pulling items out from a lower chest but the way this works is hoppers will flow items down to the lowest point that it can before going off to the side. So until this chest fills up and then the hopper as well, it's not going to start filling up this chest. Now I made a design using that concept uh, initially in my, my uh, episode 0 of Cytosis. So I just wanted to show you the, what I had done to do that. And it's an interesting concept. Uh, unfortunately, the way it's wired up, these lights don't really tell you anything useful. It just tells you what, how far up it is totally saturated with items. So, it's not the best design. But, there it is, if you are interested in all. Over here, I have Mumbo Jumbo's design. If you don't know who he is, he is an excellent redstoner. I get a lot of my inspiration from him. Uh, this is his design. Uh, you can see how the, the hoppers flow into a chest, into the other chest, into the other chest, and so on. Uh, the bottom chest is slightly different as uh, you he designed it so that you can access it and get the items out that way without having to see all the chests. And all you have to do is wire a comparator signal through a repeater so you can get it all the way back to where the lamp is. I decided to try to make a two wide tileable version which uh, didn't work since these will uh, these lamps if you put another row next to it, it will also light up with, from a comparator signal on uh, all three of those comparators. So it doesn't quite work as I would wanted it to, but this is mainly to show you where you can go with the design. And uh, again, I have all, all three of these I have split up into the different uh, layers that you repeat going back and forth. You do this one, then that one, and so forth. Alright guys, that's it for this episode. I hope you get some good ideas from this. I'd love to see what you come up with. Until then, I will catch you next time.